In this video, I am going to explain about expiry dates because this product have expiration date and I have the same product in my store. There is another expiry date. I will show you how to manage the expiry date. So first I need to create this product. Horlix. How many? 500 gram. So I am going to create here heads and items or products. New. Horlicks 500 gram for example and the if other language you can give if there is any part number or item code you can mention here and the product barcode I'm giving for the barcode if you have machine you can just scan it otherwise you can enter manually 89015 and the product barcode and this is in the goods category there is tax will be 10 percentage tax applicable and there is I am managing in the pieces the unit and which manufacturer category everything if required I can fill it here the cost price the cost price will be I purchase this one 2.5 and I am going to sell this one as 3.5 if I am making the wholesale I can give the wholesale price uh, like 3 and MRP will be 4 for example I can give the price and minimum and maximum price everything as, per, as you required you can give the item but here most important you know expiry uh, or batch or load this one presently disabled. I need to make enable because this particular item I need to manage the expiry date. So whenever I am creating the item should be enabled for the expiry or batch or load. So just I am going to click it save and close. The item will be created. Now I am going to purchase this item because you know each items, each uh, uh, expiry related items there is a load number or batch number. It will be here. Each uh, Horlicks product batch number will be different also. Everything will be there will be mentioned for the production date and expiry date also. Okay. Now I am going to make purchase this one as a hundred bottles. Just I am going to purchase and enter the supplier and supplier bill number and the item Horlicks. Horlicks 500 gram. I need to purchase 100 bottles. So when I enter the quantity here will come the batch manager. So you know before that I want to show you here you know presently it doesn't have the column for the expiry date or batch number expiry date production date there is doesn't have column. I need to enable it first that one. I can click it here enable or disable columns. There you can find for expiry date and batch number production date I know I don't want to add it here this enough. Just close it. Now I will enter the quantity again. Just 100. So the menu will be displayed. I need to create the batch number and expiry date. So create new batch. The new batch code will be 197H. 197H. This is the batch code. And the production date will be 22-10-2021. And the expiry date will be 21 for 2023 okay and i can batch wise the cost price i can give the cost will be 2.5 sale will be depends i can give here a retail price i can give it here for example i am going to sell as 3.5 depends and the wholesale retail if i am doing i can say i can mention it here otherwise i am make it zero here and save so the batch will be created here and uh, I'm going to save this one. This one I have 100 pieces. And next time I'm purchasing the same product, but I will be in the different different batches, uh, uh, different expiry date. For example, I'll show you. Or I can purchase the same batch also, depends. As per you receive your delivery, uh, you can select, you can, if there is same batches, you can just select only other uh, batches you need to create also. So I select the part here and enter the item for Horlicks and enter the quantity here for example I will purchase 50 pieces if the same batch you can select the same batch and add to list if there is different batch you can select also each batch what are the quantity available it will display there also I am going to create another batch for example batch number 455E for example and the production date will be 22 5 2021 
and the expiry date will be 21-5-2023. Okay, the cost price will be same for different cost also you can manage it. Retail price will be same and wholesale and MRP you can give as per your requirement. So this will be 50. Now I'll show, I'll show you how to sell this item. For example, I'm going to sell this item transaction sales billing Horlicks. I'm going to select Horlicks. Just one item I'm going to click here. I need to sell two pieces. So system will ask you, you want to sell from which batch, which expiry date item you want to sell it. So I'm going to select from the this one add to list and save it again and save it. That's it only. Now I'll show you how to check the quantity. What is the available stock for the particular item because total 100 plus 50, 150 pieces I purchased this one and two pieces I sold also. So here heads, item or products, I'm going to select the item Horlicks. So I have 148 pieces. I want to see the batch wise stock. Expiry date wise stock also here will be available. If you click here, Horlicks will be here. You know this batch, you have 98 pieces. And this batch you have 50 pieces. Like that batch wise also you can manage the quantity. And there is another one report also for the reports in expiry reports. You can click it here. More reports here. Sorry, expiry report. Here will be expiry report. What is the nearest expiry item, upcoming expiry items, already expired items like that you can get from this report also. Thank you. For download, www.acrobiz.com.